I saw your mother coming out of a brothel yesterday. I think she was fired again. <laughs> it's like straight out of Google Translate. Hello, everybody. Grace Two Plays. We're checking out a game called The Guild Three. So The Guild Three, obviously part of a three-part series, is a medieval life simulator. Its purpose to allow you to jump into the shoes of a common man, a citizen, or a serf, and try and build your way up to aristocracy instead of wallowing in the dirt and dying slowly. I will say, the Guild 3 right now on early access, I'm gonna have links in the description below. It is very early access. Go into this understanding that. I played a very similar game called Salig earlier in the year, and a lot of people had said that its various uh, gameplay elements were incredibly similar to the Guild 3, so I wanted to check this out. So over here, we have our single player game. I have the options set up for the most part where I want them. You're gonna notice some uh, various peculiarities, and I am very good at breaking games, so I have no doubt that I'm going to cause some sort of game-breaking bug to happen and we won't be playing for too long. But in the meantime, let Gray spend his money so you don't have to. Right now, I think the price tag on this is $29.99. You can look around the little village here that's, that is the starting screen. I actually kind of like that. It doesn't look terrible. Let's go ahead and start with a new game. So over here, there's three different cities that we can start in. We've got Magdeburg, Oz Augsburg, and the mighty city of London. So, and then it tells you a little bit about each city over here. I I was messing around in the Archbishop... <laughs> this one over here. But I think we're going to go ahead and mess around in London. Because I'm curious to see if there's a stark difference in how it looks. Or if there's a difference in the gameplay or something like that. It says over here, built by the Romans on the banks of the River Thames. The city of London has remained the focus and pivotal point of most of the big events in the Kingdom of England. Under the guiding hand of the sovereigns, the Lord Mayors of London, the city continued to grow and prosper and established lucrative trade relationships with cities of Cambridge and Winchester and a bunch of other stuff happened. Okay. So London, it's cool. We're gonna go and try and live there. Now there's a few different things we have here. We have a difficulty level. I'm just gonna leave it on normal. There's two different game modes I've seen. There's Poor Fellow, which is basically where you just start with like a little shanty and a little bit of money and you kind of make your way. Since I want to give you guys a little bit more of an opportunity to see part of the game, we're gonna play the career mode. This is kind of cool. Career mode is just like you start with like a house instead of a hovel and you start with some skills. You start with skills essentially in the poor person, but you get a little bit more skills here and you can kind of buy a shop and some other stuff. I think that would be cool. Let us continue. And thus, we have our resident, Ribbo Big Good. That's gotta get changed. We can also change our coat of arms over here. I don't know if anything is gray enough for my liking. Can I change the color? No, I cannot. So let us move languidly as we ooh is that a is that a chalice over there that looks fairly cup like is that a toaster okay this must be this <laughs> this is it there you go there's the coat of arms it's a freaking toaster well wow, you could really get up in this guy's grill it's a toaster now i will say got some i saw your mother coming out of a brothel yesterday i think she was fired again <laughs> It's like straight out of Google Translate. Oh no! It's like straight out of Google Translate. The voice this has got. Please tell me this is a placeholder. Actually, you know what? Please tell me this is the actual voice. That would be amazing. The little line is terrible. Too. What was that? I saw your mother coming out of a brothel yesterday. I think she was fired again. Hold on. Is there? Hold on. I passed by your house and thought I smelled latrine, but it turns out it was your dinner. <laughs> Voice 3 sounds the same as voice 2. Oh, this game's gonna be a hoot. I can already tell. Oh, guys, strap in. Let's listen to voice 1. Do you want me to send over my six-year-old nephew to teach you to fence? I'm sure he can teach you a thing or two. Oh, yes. I'll be, you're gonna be teaching me a thing. We gotta go with the, with the mom coming out of the brothel. I don't know if it's... I passed by your house and thought I no. smelled latrine. It's but just it the turns same voice. Out it was your dinner. It's the same voice for all three. We have voice one, voice two, and voice three, and it's just Google Translate for all of them. Okay. Well, Ribbo, that voice is so glorious, you're getting changed. There you go. 
Your name is now Google Translate. That is our character. Enjoy it. I think you can, can you like move this guy around or anything? Well, okay, good. So you can kind of like twist to do him back and forth. He look kind of got some bags under his eyes. Probably because, well, probably because of the voices they make him have. Family campaign. You can play on free game, which there's no real like uh, quest for you to fulfill. And there's a couple here where it gives you some quests and stuff like that. Let's do uh, become the ruler of the city. Found a powerful dynasty. The city smells of freedom. Let's do, I don't know what the long search is. It sounds cool. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Over here in abilities, we get to pick a startup skill. Farmer, baker. Oh, and it gives you like, it, it, it starts you with other things, but I can't manage to hover over them to see what they are. Hold on. Oh, oh, I got it. I got it. So you just got to hold down on the right click. So we can make bread rolls, honey, rock candy. Ooh. Hard tack. And we can buy a bake shop. But the stonemason. Oh, come on now. Don't do this to me, game. Come on. Work for Gray. Work for... Okay, maybe if I just slowly linger down... No! This is the mini game. You've got it. <laughs> I was going to say, you got to linger down the side of the spine. <laughs> Damn it. Hold on, maybe I can get it to work if I... No, okay. All right, so uh, with that in mind, what do we have over here? We have Smith. Start with metalworking, stonemasonry, woodcutter, apothecary. That actually sounds pretty sweet. Scribe, thief. I messed around with thief. I don't think I'm going to try that one again. It was, just, it was just hardship and regret for my entire time. Let's go with, are we selling, are we selling like jewelry and stuff here? It looks like we're selling jewelry and stuff. You look, it's like a, it's like some sort of ring and then like a necklace over here in Smithy. Oh, I did it. I won the mini game. Okay. So we start with a foundry or we can buy a foundry, I should say, and then make silver chains, nails, and iron bracers. Let's, let me see if I can see the, I really want to see the apothecary. I want to know what this allows you to do. Screw it. I'm just going to take my chances. I can't read what it is, but who cares? We're going to be an apothecary because I say so. Why is this tree in our way? So over here we have strength, agility, intelligence, perception, and charisma. It's assigned. It looks like all of our points already, a one, a two. It looks like you can take them away. Oh, you can. Oh, you can actually have a zero in something. I'm just going to leave it as it is for right now. Character size. All right. Oh, you can be like anywhere from average to above average to very, very, I don't know. It almost looks like a Russian nesting doll. Let's just go with average face over here. Ooh, we got a Paul Bunyan looking face. I kind of like that for an apothecary. That might look good for an apothecary as well. Let's do the Paul Bunyan face, the clothing. Ah, oh, my face changed. But I get a new wardrobe and my face changes too? I think probably the very first thing is like appropriate. Oh yeah, this is appropriate apothecary wear right there. Now, can do we have a slightly perfect? That's the gray I like. And then for the hair color. Oh. I don't get to see any additional hair color. It's just brown. That's fine. Brown, I like brown. Brown is good. I was looking for maybe a salt and pepper, but who cares? Let's play the game. Welcome everyone. To the mighty no, city of London. Have mercy. Okay, I don't know what was just talking to me. Your father was a much traveled merchant and adventurer. He had returned home for barely a few days when he set off for his next trade voyage. His most ardent desire was to bring some fabled ivory home. But he could never finish the story because I can't scroll downward in the text box. Perhaps that'll change. Look at the glory, however, of London. Look at the houses, look at the manors, look at the foliage and the cobble work, and look at our glorious young man who more or less looks like he's lived a hard knocks life. Right over here, right in front of our little apothecary like building. It's called the Four Walls. I couldn't, I couldn't have come up with a better name myself. I wish I could have read the rest of that story, but it's gone now. So we've got a little bit of a tutorial over here. Uh, a very little bit of a tutorial, by the way. Use the one key to send your avatar into the residence. Very well. Produce. You are now in the production menu and you can produce your very first item here. To do this, simply click on the select button and click again on an empty slot next to your portrait in the workers part of the menu. Okay. So it looks like we can produce a few things here. We have lavender and we have blackberries and we can make herb tea. I think if you right click, yeah, if you right click and you hold down, you get to see a little bit about it. So over here, should you catch influenza, then sipping this tea is bound to do you some good. You can see a purchase price and a sell price. It sells for about 27. 
takes two and one. Mixed herbs over here. Uh, sells for 25, so pretty close. Mixed herbs for the basis of various potions. Okay. We can... Can we make lavender? It almost looks like we can just make lavender. I don't know, or something like that. Over here we have flax. Blackberries. Okay. So, for the most part, it looks like Google Translate is probably going to be making herbal tea. And we're going to be selling that a bunch. Now, we don't have a lot of, of stored up stuff right now. But all we have is this house. We're going to see if we can buy an apothecary fairly soon. So, let's go ahead and grab the herb tea. Throw it down Certainly. in front of our guy. Okay. Throw it down in front of our guy. And he will begin crafting as we do. Over here in the skill book area. You're going to notice that we are... Are we a citizen? Oh, we're working on citizen. We need. We got 2,300 of 3,000 XP. Every time you go up in this in these levels, you get different things that you can do. Like, there's different actions that get unlocked. Like the ability to romance people or form a family and stuff like that. Load the goods you have produced. I'm going to wait until they're all produced. Because I think we're still... Pro yep, we're still producing at least one more. Over here shows how far we've gotten with it. And it is done. So, down here, I think we should be able to find our herbalism. I do wonder. Oh, there's a lot of different things over here. Enchanting, hard worker, master of the slide rule. Cheese on toast fancier? What the hell is this? What is this? The free cities allow people to throw off the shackles that force so many of them into the old status quo, thus preventing them from developing their minds' abilities to achieve prosperity and influence. Your ambition to the higher is awakened, and to the annoyance of the nobility and the clergy. Oh, this is like, I guess like personal abilities? Oh yeah, street smarts, integrity, okay. The path of the rogue, fighting, sleight of hand. Here's the apothecary, okay. So we have Apothecary level 0. It looks like what we want to go for is Apothecary level 1, I imagine. So I think if we click on this, do you want to make this change? Yes, I do. I think now, yeah, over here, okay. So now, 0 of 3,000, all of our experience that we get in Apothecary should go into Apothecary level 1. Now, as we do have Apothecary level 0, as well as Herbalism at level 0, I believe... That we are able to buy a building. So following the little bit of the tutorial that we get. It's time for us to make some money before we go buying any kind of buildings. So over here we do have our herb tea. I'm going to go ahead and grab this and throw it into our... I guess this is just like what we're carrying. Now please send your avatar to the market using the 2 key. Okay, so we'll press on the 2 key and there he goes. We can follow him as he does. And if we ever lose him we can just double click on his portrait. And of course I guess if you kind of scroll over to the ends of the boundaries of the screen, you do lose them. So over here! Wow, we actually live right next to the market. This is incredibly fortunate. Ooh! Ooh, a carrying bag or a hand cart. Either one of these would be very, very useful. For right now, though, let's go ahead and grab all of our herbal tea. And we'll go ahead and... Yes, I got it. We're going to go ahead and grab all of our herbal tea, and we will sell it as such, get a little bit of money for it. And with the 412 coins... Let us buy a carrying bag. Yes! Okay, good. So it went from 0 of 5 to 0 of 10. Eventually, we do want a cart. And then to get a horse cart or something like that would be amazing. But for right now, let's just make as much money as we can with our carrying bag. Looks like lavender. You can right-click on any of this stuff, remember, and actually see what it is. Yes, so, sir. Lavender and then the wild... Is it wild rose or is it blackberries? I think it's blackberries. It is. It is blackberry. So let's go ahead and grab a bunch of this. Uh, how much money do we have right now? 128. So let's only get five. This way we have enough money to get everything that we're going to need. And we will grab uh, some of this as well. We'll get five of these also. And this, Okay, so we're going to be very low on money right now. But we should be able to take this stuff home and make some more potions to sell. Now I kind of wonder, just looking at the other things, what else do we have over here? What is this cool beverage? An endurance potion. Ooh. What do you need for that? A spirit of wine and wild roses. An apothecary level zero. Huh. Maybe we'll try that in a little bit. For right now, though, we'll just kind of stick with our tea. We can exit the building, or I think we can click on one, and that's going to send our dude back home. We can use the plus and minus buttons to fast forward time if we do so choose. And here we are. Once back, we can go ahead and unload. That'll throw everything over here into our uh, our storage region. And now let us continue. What else? Can we make anything else that's cool right now? 
I wonder if this is the only stuff we can make or this is like the only stuff we've learned or if it's just what we can make based upon the things that we've that we've had that we've gotten making some more herbal teas over here you're gonna notice too we have an add-on button there's a couple things over here that we can add on it looks like fire protection burglary protection does this say privacy privacy of this building disease protection storage space Ooh, that would be pretty useful and storage storage slots so both of those would be pretty useful because you can see right now all we can do is store four different things and 20 of each which isn't very much i can fast forward time over here if we fast forward time, our uh, different uh, apothecary stuff will get made in short order. We've got 10 right now. Slowly starting to get a little bit of... Oh, double click to take it all. Slowly starting to get a little bit more money now. And again, Come on, double, cl double click to get it all. Double click. All right, maybe I can't get it all this way. There we go. Just kind of had to move it back and then move it forward. So now that we have it, I don't think that the market ever closes. So it's almost like you can do this all the time. We have a couple of other things that we can do down here. There's social activities. Compliment someone. Present someone with a gift. Or drink herb tea. Oh. Well, I don't have influenza yet. And then we also have the ability to attack people if we want, which I really don't want to do. There's some other urgent stuff. The urgent stuff is just like exiting buildings and sending home. I think that you can make new waypoints and things to do. I think someone said if you hold down on the number or the, the uh, hashtag key, while, hold, while doing, like, a uh, control button. I don't know. It's something weird like that. Like I said, they could do with a little bit of a better tutorial. Uh, but for right now, let us go ahead and sell all this delicious herbs over here. Oh, yeah. We're starting to make a little bit of money. We're up to 332. So we're getting there. It's just going to take a bit more. Do we have any of the... Oh, here we go. Oh, no. They're all out. I want to buy some rock lilies. Because I want to try and make the flax... Uh, which is down here, which we haven't been able to make yet because there, uh, there's never any rock lilies around. I wonder if you could forage for this stuff yourself. In a city that never sleeps, it's 4 a.m. The roosters are out. All the townsfolk are probably starting to wake up. So I clicked on the wild roses. And our man is running heedlessly into the forest. Let us see if he will find wild roses for himself. I'm very curious if that is how you get people to like do some garden picking or to forage for goods and stuff like that. Because if we can find these herbs on our own instead of having to buy them, that would be so much better. We are really moving out into the outskirts of town over here. Ah, a forested area. Look at this. Looks like a man and his horse and carriage have managed to levitate through a stony column. Very common problem. Very common problem. Oh, crap. I lost my guy. He's totally gone. I have no idea where he Nothing went. Nothing but work. Let us find him. Oh, here he is. Here we go. What we got going on over here? Ah, he is. He's foraging. And he's foraging quite well, actually. Yes. Do it. This is fantastic. Oh, wow. This is way better than having to do this the old-fashioned way. We can find all the herbs we need right out here. Is there, like, a limit to me doing this, or can I do this forever? Oh, fast forward. I'm going to love you long time. Yes. Good. Good. All oh, the money's going to start rolling in. All oh, the money's going to start rolling in. And when it does, we're going to buy ourselves a horse and carriage big time. So right around here, we almost have 20. I'm hurrying. We're done. And now, look at this. He's going to run back on his own. I didn't even have to tell him to do anything. This is fantastic. So that's a cool automated way for us to get materials. Okay, now that I know how that works, we really need to get our herb shop going. Because if you have a shop, you can hire people to work in it. That was weird. Like a little lavender thing was just looming over there. You can hire people to work in it. So they're the ones breaking their back trying to make money while you get to go out and... I guess still perform backbreaking work, but it's it's different. You know what I mean? We're getting to see the countryside. Meanwhile, they have to just, I don't know, toil their days away inside of our shop. So let's go ahead and make some more mixtures, and then we're going to see if we can buy the shop. Oh, yeah. We're raking in the cash now, boys. We're raking in the cash now. Oh, it makes me so sad. There's no more hand carts or anything like that. I hope one pops up because what is this? You are on your way to an important meeting with a business partner in Trade Roots. In London, when a car horse panicked, oh crap, when a car horse panicked and galloped straight toward a little girl, you instantly sprang into action and rescued the girl. 
The district's inhabitants are enthralled by your heroic behavior. Fantastic. Oh, I also lost 22 coins in a miserably failed smuggling deal. Well, that kind of sucks. Uh, okay. Well, while we're doing that, let's, um, let's buy, hold on, let's get rid of this. And let's see if we can buy our herbalism house right away. So let's go and send my guy home. I want him to go home so I know exactly where the house is. And we'll see if we can make our herbalism building right next to the house. Okay, so this is where we live. Now, is there a spot over here where I can put another building? I think we might be able to. Let's, uh, let's give it a shot. So I do herb house. This. What do you want? Do you want to build the following? Premium blend! <laughs> Premium blend herb house! Yes! Of course! Let us call it that! Why not? Uh, let's see. Now, I assume- Ah, okay. So you can only put it in very specific areas. Uh, let's see. You can't put it- Oh, oh we can put it right on the corner over there, which is quite nice. I wonder if there's something near the, uh, near the marketplace. Oh, wow. We can do it out by the waterfront over there. I feel like being, like, right next to the market would be super useful. What do you boys think? You want waterfront property? Will we be able to see it behind all the trees? I'm gonna put it right over here. Yes! Okay, it does clear the trees off. Not only are we right next to the market, but look at this. Right as people come over the bridge, we're one of the first businesses that they see, man. So this is perfect. So now we just have to wait for this to get built. Now, it does take a little bit of time. So while it's building, let us go ahead. I'm going to get rid of all this. Let us... Is that a ship? Oh, sweet. There's like a trade ship over here. Look at that. It's freaking awesome. Get rid of this herb house thing. Why is there an herb house thing over there? I want I want to get rid of that. Ah, there we go. Okay. That's pretty sweet, though. I like... Some of the stuff in here is really neat. I want... If we could eventually get a ship one day, that would be awesome. All right. Our boy is out doing some foraging over here. We've got premium blend. Premium blend. Can I do anything in it? Do I have to go like inside of it or something? Oh, you know what? I probably have to go inside in order to do anything inside of it as the business owner. Okay, that makes sense. Let's go ahead and fast forward things a little bit. We'll let our guy get over here so we can start messing around inside of our herbalism. There it is. Inside of our herbs house. Now over here we have one worker, but we're gonna need more. We wanna hire an employee, probably for transport and for just normal working. So let's go ahead and hire, and let's go ahead and hire, and get that going. It takes a little bit for people to come in. Oh, look at this. We can make endurance potions now. Oh, wow. We can make polish. Polish. What does that do? Oh, wow. It sells for big money. The only thing it needs is two jasmine, though. I wonder if we can forage for jasmine. We can forage for wild roses, and with wild roses... We can get Spirit of Wines over here, which is pretty good. Um, so let's do a couple of things. Let us grab our dude. And for him, let's see. All right, so Google Translate is off foraging. Actually, we should probably have both of them off foraging because he can't actually do anything until our guy gets back. We also have a storage area and a front store area. So you can sell things from your front store. I don't always know, though, if... Selling things from the front store gets you as much money as it does from the marketplace. When I was messing around a little bit doing, like, some blacksmithing, it did not get me as much money. So, let's, um, for right now, let's just have both of these guys... Sweet. What was that? What? I guess... I guess that's the voice! Le Gregory has... <laughs> oh, Gregory! You gotta be kidding me. Oh, we just got, we just got citizen. Holy crap. Congratulations, your tireless drive has earned you permission to bear a new title. Earned me permission. Thank you. We are now a citizen. You belong to the rank of citizen. You are now allowed to own and operate three businesses. You can also receive the following privileges. Send to school, leave office. Ooh, start a love affair. Propose marriage. Declare a feud, form an alliance, a citizen house, and adopt an orphan and dynastic trade. Signed by the Lord Mayor. Okay. Right now, I'm just making a bunch of spirits of wine. My idea is, is that I'm going to make a bunch of these. I'm going to give them over to Duncan. And this way, Duncan can go head over and start selling them. Is this starting to snow in autumn? Okay. All right, we got Duncan over here. He's got 10 of the spirits of wine. So let us send Duncan across the street to the market. It shouldn't be very far at all, actually. 
take a look over here. He should, yeah, right over here. He's heading right over, heading over to the market. Okay. Oh, hold on. Let's try this. There we go. I think he was heading over to our house. Just want to head him, head him to the market. There we go. Okay, still no carts and stuff like that. I really want some carts, man. 520 gold. That's what I'm talking about. Now we're, wow. That's fantastic. Okay, so now I think if we, can we recall him or do we have to send him? Let's see over here. Okay, if we send him home, he literally goes back to our house. Alrighty, so the owner's out picking plants. For some reason, when I tabbed, all the buildings went, like, black. Like, they're all completely colorless. I don't really know why. I've decided let's do some endurance potions. We've never made those. We're starting to get experience in apothecary, finally. And I think that's because we're picking a lot of plants. I don't really know, because if you go over on these, it shows you what it takes. It takes apothecary level zero. It may be because these ones over here need apothecary and the other ones needed herbalism or herbalist. I'm not really 100% sure, but for right now, Gregory is going to be working hard. Once we get this stuff sold, I think I'm going to try and restart the game and see if we can get anywhere with it. Our uh, our owner should be back fairly soon over here. In Stop fact, clicking me. Let's <laughs> He's so angry. I was going to say, let's go see what he's doing for right now. He seems to be gathering a lot of plants. So I'm going to let him gather a little bit more, but pretty soon we're going to run out of plants to make back at the store, I imagine. So let's go ahead and fill up our pack real quick here. It's already 12 o'clock in the day. You can see we just ran out of stuff to do back at the herb house. There we go. Luckily, he doesn't have to go very far to pick all the herbs. The herbs and stuff are like right over in this region, which is just across the bridge from where we have the uh, our herb shop over here. The herbs house. It's kind of weird. When all the all the buildings are like this, it's like we have the only important building around. Like the game doesn't even feel like rendering the rest of the buildings. Um, but yeah, Google should be home in just a little bit. Like I said, we're going to try and make the last few potions that we can. And then from there, we'll see if we can start selling those and making the big money. Because I think those ones are going to sell extra high. All right, Gregory has gone home for the evening. We have 19 of these potions so you know what we're gonna go ahead and try Nothing and sell these work. let us uh we'll do. let us send our man over to the market which is not very far away at all still nothing over here in the hand carts and the bags and stuff like that let's get rid of all these various things over here just telling us that we don't have uh any any pe any work for our guys so now if i click on this oh my god 2300 gold for this oh yeah 3,300 gold now, baby. Now we're getting somewhere. We even may be able to buy another shop, like an even more powerful shop. First, let's see if I can save the game and then get back in and get all these buildings back to where they were. All right, we're back. Everything's turned out fairly well. The houses are back to normal, which is nice. It is spring. Gregory's over here selling, sort of. I really don't know what he's doing. We have sold... Oh, that's weird. He should be home sleeping, but instead he appears to be right outside yelling at people to come and buy our wares. So with our 3,300 gold, let us build another building. We have an herb house. Tincture, we need a apothecary level one. So we're at 12,099 XP, or 1,299 XP. So we need to get more XP, and look at this. You get the apothecary at level two. So we can eventually get that. Let's see if we can grab our guy, yes, send him back over to the back over to our uh, premium blend over here, and then get him to continue to forage for different plants. And we'll see if we can get keep getting the experience to get us that level one apothecary. I really want to get that next ha that next building. Why our guys are out getting uh, wild roses? I thought I'd check out the add-ons for this building, and there's actually quite a few over here. So we've got fire protection, burglary protection, privacy, disease, productivity. That actually sounds pretty useful. Attract crowd, more employees, additional transport employees, storage slots, more storage slots, and additional front store slots. What if we buy this? Ooh. And then I want more. Yes. Okay, that's pretty useful. More transport employees. I'm not really using the one I have to my best effect. I should probably buy even more regular employees so that we get as much money as possible. Productivity. I don't really know what this does, but I'm going to go ahead and buy it. I mean, I assume it increases productivity, but I don't know how well it does it. 
over here, it looks like we need the next level of the business in order to go up. Although, there's no upgrade right now. So I don't know if it's because we need to do something more before we can upgrade or what. All right. We have been working hard, grinding out freaking endurance potions. Look at how many we have. We're going to sell this for a pretty freaking penny. I think we just got our level one apothecary skill. Yes. So right now, look at this. Healer's choice, boys. We've got premium blend. And then we've got healer's choice. Can I put it right next to our first building? Oh, I can. Uh, and we will. We're going to put it... Let me see. Right there. There we go. And the building is underway. We're going to take this whole part of the street up with beautiful businesses. You can get your herbal tea and your endurance stuff over here. But if you want the best healing supplies in all of London, you've got to go to Healer's Choice, baby. Now, back over here at the original house, I've got... Whoa! I just became a free citizen! Your tireless drive has earned you permission to bear a new title. Free citizen, you belong to the rank of citizen. I think I already did that. You are now entitled to own and operate four businesses. Okay. Long distance trade route. More henchmen. Run for office. Trainability. Trainability. Make a, make a henchman? Oh, hire a henchman. Find evidence. Escort someone. Guard a building. Or attack someone. Okay. Well. Good. Um. Now, Brigand, you don't appear to be doing anything. So let us... I guess I'll go ahead and grab her... And then see if I can send her home momentarily so that I can re put her back to finding all the different uh, routes and stuff. She, there we go. Okay, now she seems to be doing it. For whatever reason, she like lost her ability to find all these different plants. They're foraging for the plants. Google Translate is working hard, turning them into endurance potions. And that's getting him the experience points. Now over here, the tinctuary is almost done. While we're doing that... Let us go back over to our skill book. And we should probably pick another skill. So now we have level one apothecary. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? We could do alchemy, which would be cool. We could also do medicine, which might be cool. Or we could just go to apothe uh, apothecary at level two. Let's do, um, what else is down here? Scribe. Ooh. Scribe, huh? How about medicine? Can I do this, I wonder? The only problem is to get medicine, I wonder if we would have to uh, make sure to only make things that give us med medicine skill. It doesn't look like it. It looked for a minute there like we were getting experience points in medicine. We're at 197. I'm just going to fast forward things along real quick. Yeah, 220. Wow. We can't get experience in medicine. Okay, that's awesome. I guess your experience just goes into whatever ha you happen to have at the time. It's kind of interesting. Over here at the healer's choice. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Look at this. We can make anecdotes now. We can still make our endurance potions. So basically, it is the exact same thing as the herb shop. It's just better in every way uh, from, what it, from what it looks like. If we go over here to add-ons, does it do anything unusual? All the add-ons look exactly the same. But now, we can make stuff like perfume. And look at the, sell, look at the sale prices. We were doing 123 about, or 132 about, for our endurance potions. Look at this. Perfume is like... Uh, not polish. I want perfume. Perfume is like double that. And then the antidote is even more than that. So, yeah. We can make some pretty significant profits if we start doing this. I told you we were going to make stacks. I just sold the rest of our endurance potions. And we're up to 7,300 gold right now. Which is pretty amazing because we can buy all the buildings that we want for our skills. Oh, we we're able to prevent an attack on a building belonging to Ember. You can be assured of the family's gratitude. Oh, that's sweet. Let's, um, real quick. I, I was trying to do this before. We didn't really manage to do it. Social activities, aggressive diplomacy. What does this do? Run for office. I'm not going to do that right. Oh, you know what? Hold on. What can I run for? All right. I'm putting my name down for town clerk. I couldn't be the market read for some reason. But I'm going to see if we can become the town clerk. You got to start somewhere after all. If we got to start at the bottom, then damn it, we're going to start at the bottom. Whatever. Not every day you see a trade ship freaking dancing the Watusi over here or something like this. Oh, I love buggy games like this. <laughs> and that's why. I'm trying to find someone to have a love affair with over here. I want someone, I want someone wealthy. 
Someone with wealth and power. Audrey. Potatoes? Do what are potatoes? Do you have wealth and power? Edible? Are you a- I'd like to know as I'm very hungry. Are you a man or a woman? You appear to be a very portly looking woman, but that's fine. It all, it, it, it's mainly just to test the different parts of the game out. So let's see how well it works. Where's my guy at? Is he gonna, is he gonna roll up in here in a little bit? Where you at, Google? You got work to do, brother. You got freaking work to do. <laughs> Google, this girl's been waiting around for like two hours. Where are you? All right, now it's like two hours and 30 minutes. Now it's like three hours. Just trolling the farmlands over here, boys. Trolling the farmlands. Seeing if there's any single ladies around. We have Gertrude over here, a state farm. Will do. Yeah, let's let's try and do that. Maybe that'll work. Let's see, is our is our guy gonna come over here and try and do this? The employees had to stop work. I know. They're they're not doing any work right now. I'm trying to get things done over here. He's not doing anything! He's not doing anything. He's not moving anywhere. I want you to heed my freaking my freaking words. Sweet looking sunflower gardens out here, I'll tell you that. Looking pretty cool. Haven't found anyone though. I don't know, maybe I'm doing it wrong anyway. Like I said, there's there's not a lot of tutorialing going on right now, so you kinda have to figure it out for yourself. Ooh, Maidstone, huh? Of the house Maidstone. We got Stefan over here as well. Anyway, we managed to make stacks of cash with our freaking apothecaries, our herb houses and stuff like that, so making the money isn't a problem. The rest of the stuff, a little bit more difficult to learn, but not too bad. The biggest thing is if I could get things automated so everyone was doing their own thing, that would make our money-making process a lot easier, so that would give me the time to go out and do some cool stuff. But it looks like only you get experience, because when my workers were making the uh, potions and stuff like that, we weren't getting any experience for it. Anyway, that's going to be the Guild 3. Like I said, links in the description below. Still really raw. I'm getting a very raw feeling of this game in early access. So, like, right now, I don't know, it's up to you whether or not you want to get into it. Could definitely use some more patches and upgrades, I feel, for the moment. But I think there's a lot of potential in this game, and it definitely needs a lot more optimization. So, anyway, folks, till the next time, stay foxy and much love.